What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a super fun video for you guys as usual because here we are with the new DJI Goggles 2 and also the new DJI O3 Air Unit. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys my first impressions of this new system by DJI as a professional drone pilot and also we're going to talk about how the system compares to the previous generation, the older FPV Goggles V2 and the original Air Unit. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, I'd like to talk about some background about why I upgraded to this new system. So I first started flying FPV on the DJI FPV Goggles V2 in the original air unit. And I was also using the first FPV remote controller by DJI, the black one. And I thought that was a great system starting out. I mean, everything worked really well. Everything was plug and play. The image transmission was fine. And the penetration was good for freestyle. And overall, I really enjoyed learning FPV on that system. I mean, I still fly it today and I think it's a great system. Like, it's really easy to set up for beginners since the receiver and the video transmitter are in the same module, the same air unit. I think that's really awesome. So don't get me wrong, I think that original air unit as well as the V2 goggles are a great piece of technology. However, I think as you become more experienced as an FPV pilot and the more you fly, you start to kind of notice the flaws in the system you have and you start to kind of want more out of your system. So on the original air unit and the V2 goggles, it doesn't do too well when you're flying with a lot of trees in between you or concrete. And I don't like that too much because those are two of my favorite places to fly. I love to fly in forests and I love to do freestyle like garages and urban places as well. So, and that worried me a little bit because whenever I was flying through a lot of trees, my frames would start skipping and also the image quality would degrade quite a bit it would get super pixelated and it makes seeing like small objects really hard. For example, like branches or wires perhaps, it really degrades on the old system when you're flying through a lot of stuff. However, on this new system, the DJI Goggles 2 and the O3 Air Unit, it really does well with that. I don't know what DJI did, but they really improved it. And the image is really consistent. Even when you're flying through a lot of stuff, it's able to hold that live feed consistently. Even when you have like maybe nine or 10 megabits, you can still have a clean, consistent feed. The image quality might degrade a little bit, but at least it's not skipping frames how it does on the old system. So I think that's a huge improvement on the DJI Goggles 2 and O3 Air Unit. Any added benefit in image quality is honestly worth it. And that's the main reason why I upgraded to the Goggles 2, because I want the best image quality possible. In addition, on the new Goggles 2, they have new OLED screens. And honestly, it's so amazing. Like when I first started flying, I was honestly in awe. It literally seems like it's double the resolution of the previous generation. Like the colors are more vibrant. Everything is more clear. So I strongly believe that our camera and our goggles are the most important piece in our kit as FPV pilots. What I mean by that is the camera we have on the drone, that's our portal to the drone. That's how we see our spatial awareness. That's how we fly safely. And that's how we plan our route. That's how we get our shots. So that's literally the most important piece of the kit. So I think it's definitely worth the upgrade because now that I have better transmission, it's more reliable. Now I can be more confident about flying behind a few trees and hitting more interesting gaps and flying farther because at the end of the day, I know that my video link is strong. All right, so next I wanna talk about the build quality and the overall feel of the new goggles too. And honestly, I think they're great because 
they're literally half the size now and half the weight. And I think that's totally worth it because when I was wearing the V2 goggles, sometimes they felt kind of heavy, kind of felt like I was wearing like a helmet and they wouldn't really fit well. Like if I put on my forehead like this, it would kind of fall down and it felt like a lot of weight basically. But with the new goggles too, they're only like 290 grams, I believe. And it just feels so light. It feels like you're just wearing like a pair of glasses, honestly. So I really like the new fit because I'm the type of FPV pilot where I love to go hiking. I love to travel a lot with my gear. So any way I can save some space on gear and some weight in my bag, I think that's worth it. And yeah, they're just really cool to just, you literally put them in your pocket. Like they're super light. And I really like the new interface as well. Some people say they don't like the touchpad, but once you get used to it, it's a lot faster than the previous joystick on the older generation. And I really like the new UI and UX of the new menu system. It feels super updated, like 2022. It feels really easy to use. I learned how to use it in about like five minutes. And there's some cool quick menus, like to change the exposure and stuff. Everything's laid out really nicely and intuitively. I really like that from DJI. So I think that is a huge benefit of the DJI goggles too. And of course, another upgrade of having the system is the onboard recording. I honestly don't really recommend it for cinematic filming. I think you can get a lot better results with the GoPro because GoPros have better frame rates and I think it's just a better camera and sensor in general. But I do think that is a great benefit in case you do want to post like random freestyle videos and you're not really a professional and just want some cool content. I think it works great for that. And yeah, I think that's a cool benefit to have that onboarding recording. 20 gigabytes of internal storage now, which is awesome. And then also SD card slot, obviously. So it definitely looks like 10 times better than the previous one. So that's a huge benefit. So a lot of people are wondering, is the O3 Air unit able to replace your main GoPro, your action camera basically? And in my opinion, I don't think so. And I'm telling you guys why for three different reasons. So the first reason is the fact that I like to fly my drones in a true X configuration. I really like that freestyle true X frame. I don't know, I just like the way it flies. I've had a few dead cat frames and I didn't really like how it flew. So for me, I don't mind having the props in my camera. I know other people do mind, which is why people are like mounting up top and stuff and doing all this weird stuff. But I honestly like seeing the propellers. It kind of gives me a sense of spatial awareness. I can see how big I am, you know, where I am in space and stuff. So I enjoy seeing the propellers and obviously you don't really want that in the end footage. So for that reason, I think having a GoPro is still very useful. In addition, I think GoPro Hero 11 is just a better sensor overall and you have more frame rate options. You could do like 5K, 24 frames, stuff like that. But um, on the O3, you can only do like 4K 60. Um, yeah, there's no like cinematic frames right now. So I don't think that's good. And the third reason is the fact that sometimes you don't always want your exposure on the FPV camera to be the same as the one you're recording footage on. I saw this from a Shaggy FPV video and he mentioned this and I was like, wow, that's super true. Like. Sometimes like when you're flying in a dark environment, you want your goggles to be hecka bright, but you want the GoPro to be like a nice, you know, 400 ISO, nice and contrasty, nice and cinematic. So I think in those situations, you do definitely want to have two different cameras. And for me, I think I'm definitely going to stick to a GoPro because I, the main reason why I got this is not to record is because I want to be able to see better and to have more fun flying. What up guys? We're at one of my favorite spots to fly FPV in the East Bay area. Cause check this out. There's some really nice rolling hills here. And the purpose of today's test is I really want to compare to see how the GoPro Hero 11 does compared to the DJI O3 Air unit. So here we have my little Nazgul. We got the O3 Air unit. Then I'm going to pop on my GoPro Hero 11 here. And then we're going to see how the two different cameras look. I think it's going to look super sick. Let's get it. Next, I'm going to dial in my settings for the GoPro Hero 11 here. Let's do 5.3K 24 frame, one over 48. And then just to have some fun, I'm going to do flat color profile.
I'm really starting to like the setup here with the Crossfire TX16S right here. Goggles 2 and 03 air unit. I mean, this is a really good long range setup right now. I don't even have GPS rescue on this and I still feel really confident because the 03 air unit's range is just so good. I mean, I don't really have to worry about anything right now. My control link is solid. My video link is freaking solid. It feels amazing. Yeah, earlier today I was flying the V2 goggles and now that I switched to the goggles 2 and the 03 air unit, it's literally like night and day. I mean, this is so clear. Whew. All right, guys, I think we're good here. We got enough shots here and that was awesome. I think the footage is gonna turn out really good. And honestly, I think the GoPro just looks way better than the O3 Air unit, but we'll have to find out later. All right, guys, we are ready for our first flight here. And yeah. The purpose of this flight is to really just kind of tell you guys about my experience with the older system. We are rocking the original air unit, the Cadex Vista, as well as the V2 goggles here. And yeah, we're just gonna have some fun and um, see how the footage looks. Let's get it. So yeah, my first impression, switching from the goggles to back to the older ones is, yeah, there's definitely a big difference in quality. I mean, everything just looks a little bit, little bit more blurrier a little less sharp. I do kind of miss having this field of view though. Like this is what I'm used to. So I do like the field of view on these. However, yeah, just in general, the image is definitely worse for sure. Yeah. It's not bad though, you know, still definitely still flyable. And like I said, still a great system, you know, but especially after finding the goggles too for the past few days and then switching back to the old ones, like, I can't see myself using the old ones again just because the image quality is obviously a lot worse. But yeah, this Cinewoop definitely does a lot better than my 5-inch freestyle I was flying in here yesterday evening, so it's pretty fun here. The penetration seems to be doing really well. I mean, I'm all the way over here, still off full 50 megabits. The old system does pretty well. But that focus mode definitely gets you. Like whenever you go behind some trees, the image quality definitely starts to degrade a lot. On the goggles too, it's able to maintain its fidelity pretty well, even through a lot of objects. Another thing is that like flying with the goggles too, it definitely makes flying just a more overall enjoyable experience because by having a cleaner feed, a more reliable feed, you just kind of get immersed in the flying even more, you know? Like when I'm flying on the old system, I do tend to think a lot like, oh yeah, like I'm flying FPV, you know, these are my goggles. But on the new goggles, you kind of tend to get more immersed in the scene you're filming and in the location. You kind of feel more like a bird, I would say, just because the quality is a lot better. Yeah, it just feels, yeah, kind of shitty, you know, kind of blurry right now with the V2 goggles. I mean, it's not bad, definitely still flyable, fun to fly, you know, but goggles too, way better for sure. So yeah, this is all on the old system and if you're a good pilot, you know, doesn't really matter the equipment you're using, you know, like as long as it's good equipment, you could get some pretty sick shots. So that's another thing I kind of want you guys to get out of this video is like the gear doesn't really matter that much, you know, like obviously if you have the cash to spend, you know, the goggles too are better, but if you're just trying to be an FPV pilot and get more cinematic shots and stuff, it's not necessarily going to make you a better pilot, but definitely helps, you know, but you could definitely get some super sick shots on the old system right now. One interesting difference between the V2 goggles and then the goggles too is that the older goggles, the V2, I kind of like having this space under my nose. Like I'm able to still kind of do stuff like plug in my battery or check my GoPro without taking off the goggles. On the goggles too, there is no space here. So you literally can't see anything. So I actually, I kind of like having this leak here, honestly. Now that sounds kind of weird, but I do like it. Like right now, in an environment like this where there's so many different branches, leaves and stuff, ghost branches, having the goggles too definitely helps a lot because it really helps you see those small, small little details in the environment. As opposed to the V2 goggles where everything just kind of tends to mush up, especially those ghost branches. You can't really see them very well. So if you fly in trees and a lot of nature environments, I would definitely recommend a goggles too for you as well. Yeah, the colors are definitely just way better on the goggles too as well. Like, 
the colors feel kind of flat in the V2 goggles, not so vibrant. That's how you know you had a fun flight. When you totally lose track of time and just notice your battery voltage getting low, you're like, oh shit, I gotta land. That was awesome. So, so I think this just goes to show that the V2 goggles is still a viable system. I mean, I just had a lot of fun flying some freestyle here. The penetration was decent. I was able to go pretty far down there actually, and it did really well. So I think it's still a really good system in 2022. However, if you just want that extra boost in image quality and just those few extra features, I think the goggles too are worth it because especially in an environment like this, it would have been nice to have that extra resolution, that extra color fidelity, just to see those ghost branches and all those tiny little weeds and stuff that could possibly take down my quadcopter. But these goggles are good for hitting big gaps and stuff. But if you really want to push yourself and really have a lot more spatial awareness, the goggles too, I think would definitely do a lot better in here. So that's why I do want to add the new O3 air unit on my Cinewoop. Right now, I only have the old air units, which is why I have to use these. But yeah, overall, I had a great flight with the old system.